Hey guys, Jed here, what's up? Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be graphing linear inequalities. So let's get started. Here we're being asked to shade the region that satisfies the following inequality. Y is greater than or equals to 2X plus one. So how you'd begin is as follows. You just write out this inequality as if it was a regular equation, like this. What you're gonna do next is to plot this line on some graph paper. But you have to be careful. You see the inequality that they've given you. If the sign is a greater than or equals to, or a less than or equals to, if it has this equals to component here, then the line you draw is gonna be a solid line, like this. And if the inequality symbol does not have an equals to part, so if it's just greater than, or if they use less than, so without this equals part here, then your line is not going to be solid. It's going to be a dashed line like this. So I think I'm just going to write a key in the top right hand corner here to illustrate this so we don't forget. Okay, so if either of these symbols are used in the inequality sign, it's just going to be a solid straight line like this. And if it's just a less than or greater than symbol without the equals part, it's going to be a, a dashed line. Okay, so let's carry on now. I'm going to now plot this line out using a method we've learned when plotting linear equations. So I'm going to choose some values for x. I'm going to pick 0, 1, and 2. And now let's get the y coordinates for these x coordinates. Our equation will tell us what to do. y is equal to 2 multiplied by x plus 1. Okay, so let's take our x value, 0, and the y value for x is 0 is going to be 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is just 1. Let's do it for 1 now. y is 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3. And finally, for x is 2, y is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5. Okay, now let's plot these coordinates and join up the line. So we've plotted our coordinates. Now connecting them across the entire graph that's available to us will give us the following line. And remember, this is a solid line because our inequality has a greater than or equals to symbol. Okay, now let's see which region to shade in. I like to think of it as there being two regions, one region above the line and one region below the line. Now we go back to our inequality. Your y should be on the left-hand side of the inequality on its own, which it is in this case. And everything else should be on the other side, which it is. If this is the case, then you can read it as follows. Which region has y values greater than or equal to this line? The key word is greater than. So the way you can think about it is, Anything greater than this line, which translates to above the line, so greater than should be considered as above the line, then you shade it in. And it's as simple as that. This is the region that satisfies the inequality. Y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. And it really is that straightforward. Okay, now let's take a look at this example. We're being asked to shade the region that satisfies all of the following inequalities. So how will we proceed in this case? Well, it's gonna be very similar to the previous example. Whenever we have an inequality, we just wanna write next to it the equation of the line that it would represent. In this case, it's y is equal to one. In this case, it's x is equal to two. Now for the last one, we need to rearrange it so we have it in the form of y equals mx plus c. And what that means is we want to get y alone on one side and everything else on the other side. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to add 2x to both sides, and it's going to give me y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. Now we go ahead and write the equation version of this inequality. So it's going to be y is equal to 2x plus 1. Now be very careful here. At this stage, I'm just going to highlight the inequality symbols to know whether my line is going to be solid or dashed. For the first inequality, it's going to be a solid line. For the second inequality, it's going to be a dashed line. And finally, for the third inequality, it's going to be a solid line. So let's plot these three lines out first, and let's see what we get. Okay, 
after drawing all three lines, we get the following. We get a solid line for y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. So this inequality here. We get a dashed line for x is less than 2. So this inequality here. And finally, another solid line for y is greater than or equals to 1. Now, if we read the question again, it says shade the region that satisfies all of the following inequalities. Okay, so let's see our first inequality. We want the region where the y values are greater than or equal to 1. So greater than, remember, means above the line. So I'm going to do little lines just above the y is greater than or equals to 1. So it indicates to me which region we are interested in. And now for our second inequality, this is going to be slightly different since it's a vertical line. So there's really no region above or below it, but more to the left and to the right of it. So we want the region where the x values are less than 2. Well, if you look at this vertical line here, where are the x values that are less than 2? It's going to be to the left of the line. It's going to be in the same direction as the inequality symbol is pointing to. If you see this inequality symbol as an arrow, it's pointing to the left, and that's the region that's gonna satisfy our inequality. So I'm just gonna put little lines to the left of this region here like this. And for our final inequality, we've seen it before in the previous example, except this time we're looking for the region that is less than this line here. So all the y values that are less than this line here, less than meaning below. So I'm just gonna put my lines below it, indicating the region that satisfies this inequality. Okay, now when we look at it, you can see the area that satisfies all of these inequalities, and it's going to be this central region here. So I'm just going to shade all of it. This is the region that satisfies all three inequalities. It's above the inequality, y is equal to or greater than 1. It's to the left of the inequality, x is less than 2 and below the inequality y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. This is the region here. Just be careful with other questions though, because sometimes they don't ask you to shade this region. Sometimes they ask you to label it with a letter. So just bear that in mind. Anyway guys, that's how you graph linear inequalities. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned something from it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Take care.